All right, guys, we're back for another Dokkan Battle video. Um, so this is going to be the first video I focus in on this right here. Um, so we have 10th anniversary fan meetup stuff. So what they're doing, I do like this. For part one, global, like the global version of Dokkan is getting the fan meetup. And then for part two of the 10th anniversary, JP is getting the fan meetup. I think that's good. That's fair. I like that. I like that. Each, each version kind of gets, you know, one half of the fan meetup. Sounds good to me. Um, what I don't like, though, is the differences. I mean, maybe I'm just speaking from personal opinion right here. I mean, y'all could decide yourselves. I'll probably do a video covering all this, you know, by itself. But we're going to obviously do one of these missions in this video. But what it is, Global and JP actually have different ways that they're going to be doing this, right? So on Global, you need to get a high score in one of the burst modes, which... I mean, again, I'm not going to speak for anyone else, but just for me, that's kind of, eh. I mean, okay, cool. Um, on JP, I, I believe it's more of a lottery thing. Um, and it's like, we're going to get tickets from these missions. But here's the thing. The, these are only on JP and they do come with stones, which people are going to care about. And I mean, again, I'm just speaking for myself here. Um, I do think that these types of missions... This is beat Red Zone Kid Boo with a you know super class team of every typing. This is beat Goku and Frieza with an extreme class team with an extreme unit of every typing. This is beat you know the Bio Broly Devil Awakens stage with a full youth category team. Like these are fun missions. I, it rubs me the wrong way that like the the ways we're gonna do this is different on each version, and these are very fun missions. If you guys remember, I'm actually going to go ahead and pull it up. Uh, none of these missions are going to challenge me like last year. But we did have uh, missions um, for the ninth anniversary fan meetup. Uh, and it was one of the hardest uh, missions ever, actually, easily. Because uh, Red Zone Fusion Zamasu uh, was one of the most devastating fights we had. This one right here. Uh, this is a four hour video. It was that much footage for me to be able to get, you know, because obviously I want to do it. No item, right? Like no item run against fusion Zamasu with power beyond super saiyan. Nowadays, this would literally take us one try and we beat the fight in two minutes. But back then, uh, 11 months ago, that was a near impossible mission. It was so hard. So, all right. Um, again, I, I think I'm probably going to cover all this in a separate video as well. Uh, but let's jump in. So we'll do the Kid Buu mission right now. All right, guys. Let's jump in and let's just crush Kid Buu like this. Uh, we have a lot of post-Kid Buu fight characters on the team. Remember that the Worldwide did have massive power creeps. So, uh, God damn it. Wait, dude, we have... All right, well, there's no way we're losing even one try here. Come on. Goku, Goku, Son, Goku, Son, Goku, Son, Goku, Son, Goku, Son, Alright, um, I hate AGL UI Goku in slot 7, dude. He's just the most dominant force we have turn 1. Um, okay, so my concern is turn 2. Um, I, we could put Tech Gogeta in front of that super and wipe it out, but obviously I'd like Tech Gogeta on turn 4. So, we'll probably put... Damn, you know, I, I do like this character. One thing that does, you know, uh, it, it's defensively... You know, the second turn, we're goaded. But that first turn, not really so much. No way the friend unit has a dodge build. Yeah, no. No, 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 no. Um, all right. Uh, I guess we could hit this, and we could give these boys the physical key. Um, and then we could hit this right here. Uh, although... Damn it. I despise our rotation so much. 
Um, so, yeah, the way our opening rotations opened up was pretty bad. Goku, Gohan, and Trunks are not going to have access to their two-turn support next turn. We don't have as good of an option against Kid Buu's turn two super as I would like. Right, so a lot of, you know, kind of, like, not great stuff. Like, you know, like we could, like, switch, like, two characters on this, this roster right here. And, you know, we would crush this. Um, that is one thing about the Goku, Gohan, and Trunks, though, is that they... It, it is bothersome. They need the movie hero or the all-out struggle character on rotation. If we don't have that, at what makes them a top five level character is, is poof. It, that shit is gone. Gone with the wind. If you don't have a movie hero or all out trouble character. In two turns, we're not going to have one. But uh, their 12 key super actually has value in this fight. Most fights, their 12 key super... Like, they, the super attack effect on this is so trash. Right? But this fight, it'll actually help. Because they will lower Kid Buu's attack. Um, which, well... I mean, I don't, do we have any characters on this team that are going to struggle against normals? Not really. Not even Kid Buu's juice normals. Well, I mean, we're going to blow Kid Buu straight into hell with the family Kamehameha anyway, right? Like, who cares? Um, if we had HL UI Goku turn one, we potentially could have killed this STR Kid Buu. Typically, I like to not do that. I would much rather... Actually, we have double Gohan next turn. We could kill him. I If, if, if we swap... Goku, Gohan, and Trunks with AJL, UI, Goku, and we kill him 100% chance. Because SDR Gohan is one of the most explosive offensive characters on that first turn. Um, Alright, yeah, there's a pretty uh, bad rotation. Let's do this. Uh, we'll put the... Damn. Um, we'll hit this. Yeah, I mean, the dreaded friend unit plus lead is not good. I probably should have put Tech Gogeta in that last slot. I, I mean, thankfully, Tech Gogeta... This character's much better in base than people give him credit for, but... Uh, God damn it, dude. I can never just, like, jump in, man. Everyone else just, like, jumps in, and they get perfect RNG and perfect rotations and perfect luck. And then, oh, time to summon, and oh my god, we pulled 50 copies and two multis. Not me, bro. Okay. Not me. I, I could switch up my content style, by the way. I could just, you know, like, all right, guys, let's hop into the event. And then I pause, and I reset 50 times. And, uh, here's our good rotations. And then I just upload the one clean run. I, I like just uploading, like, whatever. Yeah, we're probably cooked here. I don't... I mean, I guess... At, Gohan would have gotten slapped around in slot one. We just got fucked, unfortunately. I don't know. Maybe I should have prioritized the key. Yeah, I mean, he's going to get smoked here, I think. Uh, we did live. Okay. I guess we get revive here. Yeah, what a great start, dude. <laughs> How do we revive? Uh, I mean, there's no... No guaranteed revive. Hmm. Damn, there goes our Tech Gogeta. Oh my god. Yeah, that, that's the one thing about Family Kamehameha Gohan. Like, the second you transform with this character, their impact is like... I, You guys know, go back to the 8th anniversary. I have always loved this type of character, these standby characters that have like 100% d defense, like invincible gods, but don't... Like, I, I love that shit. And then obviously they can one-shot the boss. You have to respect that. But at the same time, turn one matters. I mean, look at this. That, that was just a bad turn one. Um, CUI Goku has 100% dodge. I don't want to use Goku, Gohan, and Trunks to standby, of course, because I, I, I want to use it for the other character uh the family coming home yeah all right let's hit this I, I guess we'll go same type orbs. i don't think we're gonna die in this turn i don't think so so we're just gonna have to go same type orbs yep uh i mean i guess what i, I could we could have put tech ui goku right there and then just hope he doesn't dodge i mean to be fair tech ui goku has you know sold for us many times in the past uh i guess like what i could have done is uh, we gave a bunch of key to Tech Gogeta in Saw 1. 
I, I probably should have just saved that for the Gohan at the end, but it's just it's just a really bad rotation. It's not not a great rotation. Uh, cause the 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 Gohan turn like he quickly builds up key too, but I mean turn like he has to attack to do that, right? And then after that, you know, he permanently builds up key with every attack he does, which is a really crazy ability. Again, remember that the, the SCR Gohan, really what he is, is a juiced version of the 8th Anniversary LRs. Like, he is kind of like an easier version of the 8th Anniversary LRs, the family Kamehameha Gohan. Now, keep in mind that this character right here, by the way, uh, their two-turn support is not activated right now. And their extra damage reduction and all that shit is not up. Please, Super, because you get attack debuff. Super, super, super. Yep, normal, 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 normal. Yeah, I'm sorry. I People talk about this character like they're like top three. No fucking way, man. No fucking way, dude. Um, chat, we could get cooked here. I don't... It's... Uh, our HP is a bit low, unfortunately. All right, gamers, so what we need to do here is predict where this kid's super attack is going to be. Um, uh, now, Tech Gogeta type disadvantage, you know, could probably get killed by Kibu super at this point. My Goku, uh, Vegeta, and Trunks, they do have... Okay, I, I see what I'm going to try and do. I Let's just hope I don't end up getting cooked for this decision. Let's do this. We can get them a bunch of same type orbs. Then we could still get the family Kamehameha a bunch of orbs for the defense. And then we could still get Tech Gogeta a bunch of tech orbs as well. Damn, I can't believe we might actually lose in this. I, I, we had bad opening rotations. I, yeah, I don't know. I mean, because Gohan, I mean, something I've talked about a lot, but I that first turn with him, you know, it, it's, it's not good. You want to be good? Turn one. And HLUI Goku slot seven every fucking run. Give me HLUI Goku slot one, bruh. Or that slot two, really. Turn two. All right, where's the Kid Busu, bruh? We have a full dodge build here. All right, well, damn. Okay. God damn it, dude. If not, if we didn't take damage turn two, we would have had a uh, scouter. Right, like Tech Gogeta scouter or not. We would have seen that. Tech Gogeta would have sat there, double digits. Wow, okay, well, I, I mean, the only thing I could say is this is what I get for going an offensive build on the family Kamehameha, right? Uh, if I didn't have an offensive build on them, I mean, we would have been good right there. All right, let's hope we can, you know, get one of the 70 dodge characters in turn two this time. All right, let's go. Jump right back in. Uh, yeah, see, like, this is, this is an easy, easy, like, this is an easy win. By the way, remember, I do need a character of every typing on here, which is why we've got, like, this character and stuff like that. All right, we can turn the, um, whatchamacallit off. All right, how do we want to do this? Let's go, let's get you right there. Then we can hit this right there, bam. And then we'll hit that right there. Got our six orbs, okay. Uh, what are the chances we can kill Kid Boo here? I guess potentially good. Just kill K STR Kid Boo. Yeah, this mission is pretty easy, by the way. This is not a tough mission. Uh, we we could have got we could do double um Goku Gohan and Trunks too, just do their Super Saiyan team. Now remember, the way these missions work is it's uh, a typing like they want you to use a typing like Super AGL, Super Tech, Super Int, Super STR, Super Physical, right? Like go all the way through. Um, but 
that last slot, you know, we could bring, like, AGL Dokkan Fest Broly or something like that. Because, like, that's one thing about those missions, you know, is, like, you know, the uh, you know during the Extreme Class missions for 9th Anniversary, some of those were pretty tough. But you could bring, like, Beast Gohan as your 6th unit, for example. All right, if they get a lot of crits and a lot of additional supers, I mean, we're going to be out of here pretty quick here. Uh, I think Kid Buu is within killing range. Yeah, he definitely is. Uh, I mean, it depends. Like, like if STR Gohan, like, quad super quad crits. Although, my STR Gohan is in slot 7. Right, because remember, the friend unit um, can't be in slot uh, 7. A lot of times... Well, I mean, I was going to say, a lot of times friend units have higher additional than I'd like on that Gohan. Just because additional doesn't really do anything in the standby, which is where you want to be with that character. Yeah, we're, we're just going to kill STR Kid Buu. Well, whatever. Okay, sure. That's fine. I would have liked to have been able to nuke in Kid Buu off the face of the planet with the family Kamehameha, but... I mean, this is fine. And this is the difference between getting AGL UI Goku turn 1 and slot 7. I've seen a push lately for HL UI Goku is actually, like, top five. And it's like, I mean, I can see it. I, I certainly. I Like, it just, especially with the Super Gogeta and Super Genemba fights being a thing, right? Where they're so hard right away. Like, you know, it does matter quite a bit. Um, How do we want to do this? I mean, we're going to kill, right? I do wish we had more... Maybe let's hit this. And then let's hit this. And then we hit this. This is me selling out to kill Kid Buu, which I think we could do. Will we? It depends on what the friend Gohan does. Because Gohan, like, you know, if he quad supers turn one, that fourth super can be very explosive. Uh, if I wasn't going to try and kill Kibu turn one, I'd put Tech UI Goku in slot three, obviously, in front of the super attack. Although Gohan, this Gohan's going to do a lot better this time around uh, than he did last turn, because uh, this time he's going to do more than one attack. Okay, sure. All right, remember, Tech UI Goku gets two guaranteed supers right here. He's going to give a little defensive support and offensive support. Well, it's not guaranteed, right, but... He's got, what, a 70% chance of an additional super? Which he gets. Okay, perfect. I think the 18 key is where he gives defensive support, right? And the 12 key is where he gives offensive support, I believe. The offensive support is not the craziest, but it can make a bit of a difference here. All right, dodge, dude. Right, just dodge, man. Just dodge, bro. All right, Gohan. You can finish Kibu here. He can. It just depends on uh, how good he is with the super attacks right here. And his crits, of course. Okay, super. Okay, good. Another super. Remember, we need these crits. I'll look at that build, and they're going to pri prioritize additional. I swear to God. I promise you. Yeah, oh yeah. Okay. All right. I mean, if we get the hidden potential system additional super, we're not even going to need a crit. There's a crit. He doesn't even get it. <laughs> Come on, dude. The friend unit always sucks ass. That, dude, I thought this video was going to take us two seconds. Like, in and out. What is going on? God, I hate using friend units, man. Always. I know people hate when I get mad at the friend units, but... Ah, no. Nah, nah, I respect it. I, I like that build. I like it. Yeah. He, he just kind of, like, failed right there. But I like the build. I like the build a lot, actually. Yep. Um, I guess we'll just float UI, should we? It doesn't really matter. I'm going to just float UI. It doesn't really matter too much. I'm just going to prioritize links and shit. That's what I'm going to do here. Yep. All right. Um, I don't... I mean, I guess if Kid Buu is specifically supering in slot 2, he would have been able to do damage to us, but he's not. Um, our opening rotations were not the worst of all time in this run, so they're going to be fine. Yeah. Because they actually have... The, remember, last run, we didn't, we, wouldn't have ha we didn't have their ability on their second turn, so they weren't given the two-turn defensive support. But on this time, you know, we were able to have that. Perfect. Okay. Well, I mean, we won because we're going to get Tech Ogita next turn. It, like, it's over. Um, I think, I mean, we're hitting, like, we're going to be past 20 minutes. So I'll just upload this as is. I'll probably just make a couple of these different missions 
um, their own specific videos. And then I think I'll end with a full video, like, covering the whole the whole thing. And, like, you know, the global version versus JP version and stuff like that is, is probably what I'll do. Because uh, there are a, a bunch of missions here. You know, well, there's one. You know, you have to clear the daily Master Roshi event three times. Actually, I, I will have that done today, now that I think about it. Yeah, because you could, remember, you could do it twice per day, so... All right, yeah, there's Gohan. Gohan can be very explosive damage-wise. Very explosive. All right, Kibu super attack right away, so there's nothing he could do. Remember not to discount uh, UI Goku and Evolution Blue Vegeta as well. Uh, their crit support. Their crit support. I've found out that uh, the crit, like, just using UI and Vegeta, I, I can feel that crit support. I really can. All right, well, uh, time for old challenge for the fight to go away. Y'all know the deal. All right, um, so we'll go ahead and get Gogeta out, um, and we have the Scouter now for the rest of the fight. So, again, there's there's really nothing um, Gibu could do. There's nothing he could do. Um, let's just try and set up as many orbs as we can for Goku, Vegeta, and Trunks. No, I don't want three. All right, six is fine. But that's not... Are you shitting me? All right, I guess we'll just get this. I mean, the 18 key is more important than the extra additional, so. All right, he can't do anything here. Yep, it's it's very difficult to actually damage Gogeta. It's very difficult. Oh, all right, get massacred. Later, idiot. Um, We have attack debuffed him too, right? So, uh, like, like what, what is he supposed to, like, what is the enemy supposed to do when Gogeta comes out? What are they supposed to do? What do you do against this? All right, two super attacks. Because like now we have the scout, we have the scouter for the rest of the fight. So I mean that's some fights the scouter is not going to really do too much. But this is a fight. I mean throughout my times doing this stage, we have had a lot of deaths where Kid Boo is supering in like slot three and stuff like that. So. I mean, I probably would have been a little nervous with Goku, Gohan, or Goku, Vegeta, and Trunks, um, potentially in slot three, if, you know, we didn't have the Scouter, because there were a few attacks, but I don't really think they're going to be in danger against normals, because, I mean, we've been getting 18 key supers with them, so they've got their defense for multiple turns up, so we should be good. I don't, I don't think normals are going to crush them here. I don't think so. I'll be pretty disappointed in this character if they're going to die to normals right here. Yeah, they're fine. All right, well, that's that. That is that. We could toss this out. Uh, I mean, yeah, I guess. I, I, I guess, I guess we'll just, we'll just throw it, sure. Okay, so we got uh, dragon balls all over the place and stuff. Uh, we could probably just do this. This would maximize our links, huh? Um, I'll just hit that right there, sure. You are already looking good in terms of the dragon balls and your key and stuff like that. And then we'll just hit the max we can get right there. All right, uh, probably going to kill Kid Boo right here. Um, I, I probably didn't even need to use the family come out. We could have just put the Goku... Gohan and Trunks since that one, and I think we would have been fine. I don't know how this fight ended up dragging on like this, but whatever. That's whatever, whatever. 
Gohan could kill right here. Because he's, he's fully built up now, right? Yeah, 21 first attack? Okay. Sure, sure. Whatever. Like that, if he, if he gets to the fourth super, it's like a 40 million fourth super. Something like that. Okay, cool. Yep, bye, Kid Boo. See ya. See ya, buddy. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Yeah, they made that Gohan pretty strong. I mean, he was the reason we took an L earlier, but not a big deal, I guess. All right, well, there we go. There is uh, this Red Zone Kid Boo mission. Um, you know, beat it with Super AGL, Super Attack, Super Int, Super STR, Super Physical. Uh, and then I will we'll probably just tear through a lot of these different missions. I mean, the Goku and Frieza one is going to be very fun. There's one against Goku and Frieza. Um, there's one against the Bio Broly and the Devil Awakens event. There's one against the Blue Gogeta Supreme Magnificent Battle stage. Been a little bit since I've done that stage, so. Uh, doubt we'll have uh, difficulties in really any of them. I can't believe we actually died here, but, I mean, it is what it is. Bam, there we go. Mission done. All right, let me know what you guys think. I'll catch y'all next time.